Welcome to this video of um, the interval timer that I've built using a pickaxe uh, 8M chip and a repurposed um, device here. This device is um, intended to be a, an interval timer for physiotherapy and so that you can make work out easier and execute more accurately and consistently. So it's a timer, a multi-purpose timer. timer. It's a, an interval timer based on the 8M chip, as I said previously. And it's intended to make your workout easier and that you can plan it and execute it with more accuracy and consistency. It is totally repurposed casing from a uh, radio frequency detector. And this is, a, a, it comes with a on off button on the side, a volume control on this side here, uh, a volume control or earpiece at the bottom which is also the programming port a, a high high density or high um, intensity LED and a firing button on the top which is actually the only user interface for actually completing the timing so let's have a look at what it does we'll turn it off Initially, it is a, it's a stopwatch, and it comes with um, three major three types of functionality. We turn it on. We can quite clearly hear there was a there was a a sound that's uh, coming from the uh, three-inch speaker under the casing. There is a repurposed uh, Nokia uh, vibrator, and clearly there's the visual alert. Why do you want the three? You need the three because. Um, when you're doing physiotherapy or you're in a gym, as, uh, as this is intended to be used in, you, you may need these three inputs. So you get visual, if you've got your headphones on, you don't want to annoy people, you can turn the sound off and you can then turn off the vibration as well, all from this simple interface. So let's have a look at the basic functionality. It uses a what's called a um, Tabata principle of repetition. Uh, this is a 10 second repetition cycle and that then repeats around and it stops after 10 repeats. Now a Tabata cycle is actually slightly different but that's the principle for this physiotherapy tool. Let's just press that button on. We've started the, we've we're essentially turned it on and uh, we're now going to start the process. Press the button we can see that the visual's gone out. We're now doing uh, um, physiotherapy. I'm clearly not doing physiotherapy at the moment. I'm holding this thing in front of this uh, camera. And after 10 seconds, we get the visual alert and the vibration alert. We'll do that again, but we'll do it silently. This process repeats itself through uh, up to one, up to ten cycles, and then repeats around until the uh, user actually turns it off. So that's the simple. That's the simple uh, system. We have a volume control on the side so that we can actually um, turn down if we're in a gym or we don't. We again, we don't want to annoy other other users. We can simply turn that off, and in the standard cycle, we can actually we just get the. Uh, we reduce the audible alert, hopefully, <laughs> and we can still get the visual alert, but now we just get the vibration. We won't go through the full cycle. There's no purpose in doing that. It works. Let's just reset it, and we're going to see the other functions that it's got. So we turn it back on. We get the visual. We get the sound alert. If I press the button on the top for four seconds, the cycle starts, and all I've now all I've now got is the vibrator after ten seconds. So we'll hear that. And now the cycle only is only using the vibrate. Very useful for when you actually want to put this in your pocket and you can then lean on the button. Or you just don't want that, that uh, classic sound of that square, square sound coming out that pickaxe chip. Let's turn it off again because, again, we don't need to go through the master, all the cycles. What we're going to do is hold it down again. One, two, to six or seven. And now we've got a cycle, hopefully, of just the um, just the sound. We haven't got the vibration. Not quite sure why we'd want, want this feature. And now we've just got the sound. And what I'll do is I'll just turn that up so we can just hear the sound. So all we've got now is sound and the... And the and we always get the visual. That's always useful to have the visual. There we go. Once more, after 10 seconds, we're just getting the visual alert, which you can see on the right hand side of the, of the handheld and the audible. Great. 
Turn it off once more. Reset it again. Now we're going to hold it down for a little bit longer. You get more functionality for the longer we hold this button down. And this one, we essentially, as we saw, the light's gone off. We've now got just um, visual. Very useful. If you really don't, if you're getting feedback from other users, shut that thing off. Now we're getting the 10 second alert, but only getting visual. So this uh, is a demonstration of an um, interval timer for physiotherapists. Um, so essentially it's a stopwatch. It's got three modes of operation. It's got fully automatic modes. It allows my beat, vibration and countdown quite clearly. Uh, you can turn that off. Um, it's actually, if I show you from the bottom, it's operated from a PP9 battery, uh, which is fully repurposed, obviously, internally. Um, it, um, it's actually not water resistant quite clearly and it's quite strong. I mean, it, this is a, a, a nice design of a, of a tool that's been repurposed. So that's the end of the demonstration of the interval timer using pickaxe.